This is not good. The IRS is very behind on sending out the next round of stimulus payments. This means that many Americans' extra payment will be delayed. Friends, I know that many of you are wondering what the status of the fourth stimulus checks are. So in this video, I will be going over the new updated fourth stimulus check timeline. Remember friends, I'm here every day to keep you up to date on all of the breaking news in Congress relating to seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. As your daily advocate, I want to support everyone in this community as much as possible. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and with your friends if they need more reliable and accurate news. Also, stay tuned until the end of this video to learn who the winners are of this week's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. The expansion of early voting or the number of mail-in voting boxes, uh, steps we know works to increase uh, the participation of people in the process is something it's very well known that he partic that he view that he strongly supports. Uh, the DNC typically does a lot of the outreach on election implementation, but I don't think it's a secret where the president stands. And certainly, you heard him say that earlier this week and convey it again on Capitol Hill today. Could, could you talk about, oh, give us a few details of what the back and forth was like for the president and the senators at the last. He sounded pretty frustrated when he came out. I, I think he sounded passionate. That's what I saw and heard. Um, look, I think the president conveyed directly to the caucus what many people heard him say across the country a couple of days ago, uh, that now we face a, system, a systematic effort to dismantle democracy, not just voter suppression, but subversion. You heard him say that when he came out uh, and spoke to uh, spoke after he left the meeting. Uh, he conveyed that this is a historic chance to save our democracy, need to protect the fundamental form of American government. And his view is this should absolutely be bipartisan. I know we've talked a bit about the history of uh, Senator McConnell's support multiple times over, writing about it in his book for voting rights in the past. There are 16 Republicans serving now who supported voting rights in the past. E even as the President has said, Strom Thurmond back, uh, did back in, in the 80s. Obviously, he's not serving today, but just as an example. Um, so that's part of the point he made. Uh, also, I think uh, it's important for everybody to understand that his view is that he would put his record of standing up Okay, so tax season is right around the corner and already the Internal Revenue Service is expecting that the agency will experience delays in the distribution of tax refunds for millions of taxpayers. This will not be the first year that the IRS has warned of delays. Last year, the agency postponed the tax day for one month after Congress passed the American Rescue Plan to give themselves more time to adjust to the changes to the tax code. The changes also require the IRS to reprocess millions of returns that had been filed before the legislation was passed. The American Rescue Plan also significantly altered the structure of the child tax credit and expanded the responsibilities of the IRS to send monthly payments to millions of American families. These additional responsibilities stretch the capacity of the agency, which further exacerbated issues already being faced by the agency. The Internal Revenue Service will begin processing tax returns on January 24th. But because of the backlog from last year, many could face delays in receiving the refund. This is now causing thousands of Americans to have to wait even longer to receive their refund check. And friends, I just think that this is really ridiculous how behind the IRS is. Within the Internal Revenue Service, sits the Office of the National Taxpayer Advocates, which supports the public by ensuring that the agency carries out its mandate in a fair and effective way. In the Office's annual report submitted to Congress, they detail the efforts of the IRS in 2021, saying that it was the most challenging year taxpayers and tax professionals have ever experienced. Last year, because of the additional tax credits and benefits that people were able to be claimed, more people filed a tax return, and around 77% were able to receive refunds. The report also noted that the delays in processing for tens of millions of taxpayers translated directly into refund delays. These delays have a disproportionate impact on low-income taxpayers, many of whom were entitled 
to larger returns last year. I know that many of you are very upset at the delay of sending out refund checks. Right now is a very difficult time and that refund checks could help many Americans stay afloat during this crisis. The report also highlights how paper tax returns have created such a backlog that has continued to grow over the last few years. The IRS tax agency has reported that as of December 2021, the backlog has reached more than 6 million unprocessed original individual returns, which is really nonsensical. The agency does not see this as a strong position to enter the tax season in and is already warning that much more delays should be expected. So friends, what are your thoughts about what's going on with the IRS? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now there is good news on the way for some people in the United States, and specifically in the state of California, as there could be a fifth stimulus check on the way a little bit later in 2022. The Golden State stimulus checks were sent out towards the end of 2021 due to a budget surplus with the state of California then giving this out to those who needed the financial aid most. And it appears that something similar could happen in the next following months. Governor Gavin Newsom laid out his budget proposal, and it is projected that there will be a mammoth $45.7 billion budget surplus for the year, which means that the state of California is obliged to give roughly $2.6 billion of that amount back to the taxpayers. It's not yet clear if there will be a stimulus check sent out in a similar manner to last year's Golden State stimulus packages. Yet, Governor Gavin Newsom revealed that he is in discussions with the legislature about a way of providing a helping hand to Californians. Meanwhile, there are still some Californians who are waiting for the Golden State stimulus check to arrive, with most of these being individuals who received mailed paper checks. Friends, the key word for this video is coffee. If you would like to enter next Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like this video, comment below this keyword, and also please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Well friends, that's the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who's watching daily. The winners of this past Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway are Debbie Rains and Barbara E. Warner. Congratulations, ladies. Please do make sure that if you would like to enter next Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and click and like my videos. And also, please comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very, very blessed weekend.